So here it is with the cover. I don't understand the silver white color. It just, it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a very long lasting. All of the other Pit Boss covers are black. This should have been black. Okay, so our first modification has to do with the pellets. Now this little grate was in there and on the larger hopper, some of the models have big hoppers. I could see how maybe the structural integrity of a, you know, of a sheet metal box that this was maybe necessary. Um, from a safety perspective, I don't understand this. There is not anything, there is not, I can't get to the augers, but you can see them. The augers could not possibly harm your fingers. It's not even possible. To be able to scoot these around if you get like a little hole that's developed, um, you need to be able to get your hand in there. I, I don't I don't understand that. That's that's silly to me. Um, but it looks like we're gonna fire up, we're gonna cook some burgers tonight. And I just have a, uh, a couple of, that was modification number one. That's, you gotta do that first. And if I was putting it together, I never would have put that on there, but this part was already assembled. And so uh, you do have to take the this, this cover off and it's heavy, um, but there's like three screws in the back and then it comes out really nice. I went ahead and saved the screws right here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I'm gonna leave them here for now. We'll, we'll figure out where those need to go. So I've noticed a small amount of smoke that leaks out here and here. And we have some, I think it's just coming out right in through there. And it's not very much, but we have a gasket from like a big green egg that we're gonna put around this and that's going to seal us up. I'm not gonna do that tonight um, cause I'm gonna have to clean this. And so I'm not gonna do that tonight. We're gonna go ahead and put the burgers on right now. But I did my first clean out. I decided not to do foil on this piece um, and just roll with it. Maybe maybe I'm regretting that, but I did a, I did a clean the other day. Everything still works and um, I did not vacuum out at the bottom, but we took all this apart and cleaned it all up. Came out great. Um, ease of that, no big deal. No big deal at all. They stick to it. They stick to it, watch. Oh, so uh, picked up a little box of these magnets. Oh, and they are strong. I think they said they're 100 pounds to be able to hold. And uh, let me show you what we're gonna do with okay, this. So we're around here on the back of the grill. And my plan is to use the magnets to hold the, the grates that I'm not using, the middle grate in there, um, I'm not gonna use very much. And so, uh, will you put us a magnet right there? Oh yeah, and will you put another one right over there? Great. So here's the plan, uh, the store the middle grate back here. Um, maybe I could even take it higher, but I imagine this gets pretty hot. I don't know that that matters with magnets. Uh, we'll test it right here and see what we think but I feel like that's a great spot to store that where it can stay clean and out of the way but yet I got it if I need it I don't know what do you think about that okay so it is the next day and this is the uh, little fire tape that we're gonna put on uh, we just need to clean around the edges so just use some uh, some soap and a rag we'll get that cleaned up and uh, let's see how this works so the instructions on this just say to clean it and uh, stick it on. I think we can handle that. I used this Mr. Clean, and holy cow, it did a great job. It is uh, squeaky clean to the touch. There's no uh, residue. So it looks like we should have a good surface there for it to stick on. All right, so nothing to that. I just cut it to length with a pocket knife. They said to make sure you don't stretch it when you put it on. So, let's see. It feels like it's on there with a really good, like the tape feels pretty solid. Let's see what that looks like closed. So you can feel that it just barely, like maybe puts a little resistance on, on the hood. So it might be pressing out on the hinge a little bit. I don't know long term what that's gonna be like, but um, let's keep going. So you do need to be careful when you're cutting this length because if you come up short and you have a gap, 
that will definitely be a spot where smoke leaks out. So I, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna cut off of my template because that one came out perfect and uh, we'll get our last one on. Okay, let's just briefly fire this up. See if we have any leaks. Well, that's warming up. I am a fan of this and it, it doesn't appear, I came back here and looked at it, although I don't know what I'm looking for. It doesn't appear that the heat mattered to those magnets at all. We can check on that long term and see what happens, but I did do a smoke last night and uh, it, it did fine. So I don't know what I thought it was gonna do, but um, it seems like a good spot. It might, I think I can get my other rack on there as well and have them both on there, but you definitely have room to do another one. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm, I'm happy about that. And then I just noticed this, I was talking yesterday about how, see how it doesn't feed necessarily evenly. And if you had that grate in there, you would just have to put a stick or something down in there. But with no grate, you just cover that hole up and it's no big deal. Uh, you have to do that. You have to do that no matter what, whether you take the, the top off. So it just makes it way easier. Okay, we're starting to get some smoke. Uh, let's go ahead and close the lid. I think that lid closes nice with the, it's almost like a soft close. And we're gonna check and see if we can see any smoke getting out. I guess I thought it might be 100%, but every once in a while there's a little wispy, and we got lots of smoke in there, so you would be able to see it. I don't see anything coming out. That's great, let's look on the other side. So once again, over here, lots of smoke, but nothing coming out. You see it's definitely coming out the uh, top there. All right, I'm really happy with that. One thing I noticed is this discoloration when I took the cover off yesterday and I tried to clean it and it doesn't come off. I don't know what it is. Um, doesn't look great especially on a brand new grill. Uh, we'll see if we can get that off of something. I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, well, that's the end of this uh, video. We did the uh, upgrade for the fire tape, the fire black, um, locking in all of our smoke. There's no smoke coming out. And then we added those magnets and uh, we took off, our, took off our grate right there. So I have a couple of magnets left over. Um, Maybe they would go good on another grill. So, um, yeah. We'll figure out what to do with those. All right, Eagle Run 2 3. Thanks for watching. All right, 6 a.m. Says we're probing at 192.